Welcome to this episode of Properties in Pines, where we educate home buyers and sellers one pint at a time. This week we are at Caboose uh, Brewery at their newer location near the Mosaic District in Fairfax, and boy, it is yeah, great. It's awesome, and it's right next to what the, a space. It's right next to the Pearson Smith office in Fairfax too, which is great. Double good. Yeah, whenever I come to Fairfax, I'm always going to make sure I stop here. So New Year's resolutions, right? Right. It's that time of time of the year. Time of right? year. People should be buying houses, right? Hopefully, buying a house is on your list. From us, though. Yeah. Has to happen from us. Oh yeah. So. I have some questions, some okay. some yes or no questions, things you should be doing prior to or during the loan process. Okay. So things you should and shouldn't be doing prior to and during the loan process. Okay, so I've talked to my lender. He says, here's what you can afford. Go start looking with your realtor. Yeah. But if any of these things happen, do I, is it necessary to contact him or not? Okay, okay. so right. the first one. Um, say your grandmother just gave you Ten thousand dollars um, for a down payment. Should you notify the lender, or should you not? Um, I think no, bro. Because really, it's just money I have. It's all good. That's incorrect. You definitely want to notify your lender. Let them know that you're receiving that gift funds, so they can track that money from your grandmother's account, depending on the type of loan. They want to know where that money is. Exactly. They're going to need to know more than just, hey, I got ten thousand dollars. Exactly. Okay. They need to know where that money originated and came from. Okay. Okay. It's good. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, should you increase any credit cards or student loans during the loan process? Like increase my payments? Yeah. Well, no, not necessarily increase your payments. Increase your um, your max, like on your credit card. Oh. Should you extend, you know, increase your max oh. or open Do up any new lines of credit? Oh. During um, or prior to the loan process. Um. Um, no. No, Absolutely bro. right. You definitely do not want to open up any new lines of credit, open up any, take out any more loans, anything like that. Because then I wouldn't have, been, maybe the price of what I can afford might come down Absolutely. on my interest rate. Or Absolutely. Okay. Your debt to income ratio is going to be, you know, different now. Okay. So now you're not going to be able to afford as much. Okay, give me another one. Um, should you notify your lender for any loss of income? Say maybe you work for the government, you're on a government furlough. And you're oh. not getting paid. Yeah. Should you notify Would your Would that lender? ever happen? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, baby. I yeah. think they'd want to know that. Absolutely. They need to know that. That's going to affect how much you can actually afford. Okay. Okay? Right. Um, or it might delay. Or it might making delay. An offer making an offer. Okay. Making a payment. Okay. Is it a good idea to make a large purchase prior to or during the loan process. Say you maybe want to buy a car or, or you want to get all that new furniture for yeah. your brand new house. Yeah. You know, you're a week before closing and you buy $10,000 worth of furniture. Absolutely. You want to be able to move in on time. Well, think that's a good idea? Well, yeah, baby. I think it's a good idea, but no, bro. No, I it's think not. I should Terrible idea. discuss Wait, it with my make, lender. Make all your purchases after the loan. Okay. Is after you completed your purchase. Because your suddenly purchase. you won't qualify absolutely. to buy that house. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Um, should you open or close any asset accounts during, so say you have a long, long time credit card. That, that, that nothing's on. Nothing's on it. Mm -hmm. should, should you close that out or? Yeah. yeah, baby. Let's close it out. No, because they're going to use, your lender is going to use that good credit payment, history. that good credit history to help get you a better rate. Okay. So they want to know that too. Yeah, Basically, absolutely. they want to know everything. Yeah, most, okay. most likely. Okay. Um, and last one. Should you notify your lender for any employment changes? So say you get a raise or a promotion. Mm -hmm. Or what if I change jobs? Or if you change jobs, should you notify your lender? I'm, I'm going to say yeah, baby. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's all based on your W-2s or if you, if, you, if you work for yourself, your 10 Yeah, even if you're getting paid more, you know, you want to get that into your lender so maybe you can afford more. Okay, right? get a better rate. Get okay. a better rate. What about, what if I win the Powerball? Definitely want to probably tell the tell the lender that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, baby. Like, forget it. I, I don't need you tickets. anymore. I'm yeah. buying with cash. I'm paying cash. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, what are we drinking here? I have this Fog IPA. Um, nice. I'm. It's it's early, but it's good. Yeah. <laughs> and I, with the help at Caboose here, they have coffee, so they open in the morning and beer. And um, Derek, the coffee guy. Um, he invented this thing called an up-down, and it is half coffee 
and half of a vanilla stout, and I am enjoying it quite a lot. Up down, so it's a downer and an upper. Downer and an upper, right. so I'm just even. All, All right, right, cheers. cheers.